da 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 Oh, I didn't see you there. Because we're wearing sunglasses inside like a couple of guys who are too cool for school. What we need is cooler sunglasses. Whoa, what are those? These are, we're so late on this. These came out, what, two years ago? Uh, the first version did. Yeah. This is version number two. Oh. Whoa. These are Snapchat spectacles. For those under the age of 20, they know what Snapchat is. For those over the age of 50, Snapchat is like it's Instagram, but instanter. It's more Instagram. <laughs> you send video messages and you can chat, but then they disappear. Mm -hmm. They had this insight where they said, oh, well, what if we created a hardware product that captured video, connected with the app, and then you can sort of capture your, your day to day? Hi. Say, say hi. Hi. Wow. And I think it's very pure, the idea of like, this is your perspective. This is what you are seeing. Um, I know that Beam sort of had that objective years ago that they really wanted to yes. like capture people's sort of unedited perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think this is as close as anyone's come to it. So the person you're recording, they see this little spinny thing and that means that you're getting like some video feed. So now you can see the camera. And then when it's done recording, it does this little like and that's it. Everything is millennial branded to the extreme. I don't think that the spectacles get enough design uh, props when they came out. I think there's so much about this experience. It's wonderful. They've got this beautiful cloth cable. It's got their custom little connector here. I don't usually like custom connectors, but I prefer this to micro USB because mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it's not gonna break and you don't have an ugly ass micro USB port right here. Right. And so it's just like, doop. That's pretty connects. sweet. And that connector not only works with the glasses, but also the case. The case is a charging case, much like your uh, Apple AirPods, mm -hmm. right? And the whole thing's $99. Which is insane. It's pretty great. It's great. Yeah. Experience-wise, how do you get it on, like, right. do, you, do I have to have Snapchat? You have to have Snapchat. God, I'm old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, once you have Snapchat, you don't have to post to Snapchat, so you use Snapchat to extract the videos. Um, then I, you can save them to your phone, and if you want, you can put them on Facebook or Instagram or email or anything like that. I used these last week in two places. One for the New York City fireworks, so I got some nighttime shots. Yeah. The, the, the nighttime bad. shots are not that great. Um, yeah, it gets... You, yeah, you can't expect a lot from a small sensor like this. Um, and then the other shot I got was at Coney Island during the day. It was at a beat on the beach, and it's great. It's very bright, well lit. Kenny, you can also see in the video where they have this um, sort of 360 aspect to the video that's captured. Um, so you can either save it as fully round, and then you can save it also in the square format or um, the landscape format as well. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of its own video capture platform. When viewing the videos on the phone, this knows where down is, so it orients that way, and then your phone knows where down is so that you can kind of like ex almost explore around the, the circular video. Commence teardown? Commence teardown. <laughs> Pause for one second. So, breached into this first section here. And what you can see is after we remove the stems, um, I was able to take this panel off. It is glued along the perimeter. So it's, it's basically like, you know, thin wall part that comes off. And then this is the bundle of electronics inside. And it is real packed in there. So we're gonna wow. keep going.
the camera assembly right here. It is very detailed, very tight. Uh, it's got heat sinks and processors and cameras and cellular chips. And there's all of these really fly little um, uh, connectors on it. So we're, I'm just gonna pop them off and I'll do my best to do that nicely while zoomed in here. Wow. Wow, that was a lot of work. I enjoyed it. Let's just do a component level very quickly. Okay. It has a camera. Yes. The camera also has a microphone. Those are connected on this little tracy thing to the main SOC, which is an umbrella. It was a um, ambrosia? No. Umbrella. 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 Under my uh, umbrella. Yeah. Uh, Ella. Ella. <laughs> Uh, we got there. I looked online, Umbrella uh, video SOCs are the same ones that are used in GoPro. Wow. And other car cams and things like that. So HD video, mm -hmm. audio compression. Great audio. All happens through there. Uh, the spectacles don't stream, as far as I know. Right, they don't stream video live. They just record it locally. So there's a four gigabyte Kingston memory component. Right there on the back side of the Umbrella. Ella, That's Ella? That's what that looks like. Uh, it has an NRF 51822. Which we put in a bajillion products. Yeah, it's a very common Nordic Bluetooth, Bluetooth chip. It's inexpensive, it's super reliable, it's decently supported, um, but it doesn't do Wi-Fi as far as we know. Right. And uh, the spectacles do, and we don't see a Wi-Fi chip on here. So if anyone has any insight into this, please let us know. And that Bluetooth chip is connected to, it goes all the way back to the lens and there's a little the ring around the lens is the antenna which is wild so this is like it's kind of like a closed loop it's like picture microphone go to the processor goes to the memory goes to the the uh, wireless chip goes back around the camera and then pew, beams out to your phone and then we found over on the led indicator side uh there's a small sensor in the middle we think that it's a uh, just a, a light sensor to help with measuring the exposure and um, where was the battery? Was the battery on that side as well? Yep, it's right here. So the battery was kind of cool. It's, it's, a, it's 156 milliamp hour. They use a cylindrical, which is pretty rare. Most everybody puts prismatic cells, but you actually get a little bit more energy density out of cylindrical cells, so it's a good choice. And then above that is the switch um, to trigger the either the photo or the video recording. So our two systems, the video recording and wireless system and our power switch and LED indication system are connected through the bridge of the spectacles using this flex cable. And then we have the case. Yeah. The case, there were um, a few layers. I think this is PU or polyurethane foam of some kind with a, a, a paint decoration and the speckle paint decoration on the front, interior, maybe ABS shells that have been flocked with that fuzzy feel, like any good uh, glasses case. Um, and then electronics wise, you have a, a, a battery in it. This battery's capacity was around 10 times that of the one inside the glasses. So you get around 10 charges, I guess, of the glasses while it's in the case. What Wild. A, yeah. What a ridiculous amount of work. I, I think the spectacles are incredible. I am 95% certain they're not making any money off of them. I agree. Assembly alone would put them out, but also, you know, it's got, it, you know, it's got a GoPro's worth of video yeah. recording and transfer in it, and, you know, there aren't a lot of $100 GoPros out there. So, guys, remember to like, subscribe. Um, we have an Instagram and a Twitter account, Tomorrow Lab NYC. Yep. Let us know what to tear down. Yeah, let us know. Here's the deal. You tell us what to tear down, we'll tear it down, and then you tell your friends that we tore down the thing you told us to, and then that's how social media works. Yeah, we think. I think it's how it works. All right. Oh, and um, we are hiring for two positions at Tomorrow Lab. Two positions, an office manager. We're losing, losing someone beloved to us, but we're gaining someone, maybe it's you, uh, who is also going to be beloved. And the uh, content producer, right? yeah, who is going to help with things like this and um, help capture the work that happens here and help run workshops uh, with our clients. Awesome. Bye, okay. guys. Bye. If you want to make your own Snapchat spectacles, uh, take a good pair of Ray-Bans and uh, just tape a GoPro onto the side.
and um, you should get a similar effect. 